welcome to a new tip clip on how to create a design element with papyrus paper, brought to you by Techniglass and Petra Kaiser. Today I want to show you how you could add beautiful texture to your glass project by leaving strips of papyrus paper. Since I have discovered so many uses for papyrus as a design element, I'm running out of scrap pieces. When I first started to make the strips for the papyrus paper weaving, I decided that I wanted them a quarter inch wide and three layers high. So here we go. I cut single strips with scissors and glued three together with Elmer's glue. Tidious! Next you will see a better way to get the strip packs a bit faster. For my project, I cut six pieces of papyrus paper 10 inches long and 8 inches wide. The amount of paper depends on how wide or narrow you want your weave to be. Use white glue to glue three layers of papyrus paper together. After the glue is dry, draw a quarter inch wide lines and cut the strips with your scissors. Place half of your strips on a flat surface in one direction, as wide as you need it for your final piece. Mine is 11 inch wide. Then at the first row, alternate one on top, one under, one on top, one under and repeat to the end. The first row I secure with a small piece of scotch tape at each intersection. Then I can easily bring in the next rows. Even so, scotch tape fires away during the firing, I'm always careful when I add elements to the firing that can cause fumes from the burn-off. Not really sure if it is necessary, but so far I have had no trouble. As you can see in my sample here, my vertical strips are a bit too short. Yes, I admit it, my scrap pieces for the next batch of strips were not long enough. First I thought I would change the pattern a bit, but then I changed my mind and closed the gaps with taping smaller strips in place. Now you can place your woven papyrus paper setup on your mold. In this project, I chose a reverse Kaiserly board mold. This is an ideal combination for an opalescent Wisma luminescent glass. Please fire it according to the recommended firing schedule and your piece will turn out perfect. Yes, you can fuse and shape in one firing, and even a single layer with just a few stringers will look stunning. I was able to reuse the papyrus paper weave mold for three firings before it started to come apart a bit. Happy creating, and see you next time.